Hello everybody, it's me and welcome back to another video. Now, in this one, we are going to be taking a look at one of the brand new rally moves that surprisingly did not come from the immunity. <laughs> not, not rally moves actually, they are um, level one moves. We're going to be looking at Terrafly. Now, the reason I'm looking at Terrafly, I did a showcase on it a little bit recently, but that was before it got a new move. And that new move is going to help Terrafly become a lot stronger. And here I have Brawny and Nimble, and very clumsy. This is just a perfectly fine personality to run on, a, on an offensive Terrafly. Then I have the item Bug Essence, which allows me to hit my Parasitizes much harder, and is going to get me more health in the long run. But, the move we're going to be talking about today is something funny, because now we have Joltooth's little brother. We have Drudge. Plus Ambush. Now, Ambush is an incredibly strong ability that does so much damage whenever things switch in. If you deal 50% to something, then Ambush will make that technically 100%, right? This becomes 160, this becomes 170, this becomes 140. It just hits ridiculously hard, right? It, it becomes such a hard-hitting move. But you also have on top of it the Drudge idea, which then you can go for a late game clean. So you have the Ambush idea and you have the Drudge idea, but in a much more balanced way because you can still be um, easily killed and you don't hit all that hard. But once 2.0 drops, I think all of its problems are really just going to pretty much disappear because, oh man, its 2.0 stats are cracked. But yeah, if you're wondering how you exactly get Drudge on Terrafly, it's simple. Once it becomes Terrafly, it'll show up as a relearnable move. It should be somewhere down here. But yeah, and then the TPs are pretty normal. 36 energy gets us to 225, which allows us to Drudge and then click up to four of our moves. And then 64 health is just leftovers, and then 200, 200, so we hit as hard as possible and are as fast as possible. And at a plus one Drudge, we get up to 241 attack and 201 speed. Still less attack than a hollow bunch. But yeah, hopefully that you guys enjoy, and I hope that this Terrafly actually ends up working out. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. Alrighty, and here we go into the first one. So I always have this crazy fear that I, not really, it's not really a fear, but just a worry that every time I go into, um, uh, I forget to press pause recording inside of battles when I'm trying to get to them. Uh, also, an Ikazune remodel is amazing, looks beautiful now. Uh, didn't it, not that it didn't look beautiful before, but it looks gorgeous. Uh, Waba is kind of really freaking good here. Uh, I kind of want to bring you. I mean, this really stops Avatross from doing anything, right? So Cosmior is good into that. So I think I do bring Cosmior, and then I kind of need Luminami. Man, Are we bring in Semi Stall with Terrafly. Now that's crazy, right? Now that's that's absolute insanity. I don't know if I want to do this. I mean, Terrafly does get to Drudge and do a lot of damage, but the problem apparent here is this Vernosaur. But we do hit it with a strong attack, so. Vernosaur is in versus the lead of Cosmior. Uh, well, I feel like here I could honestly go for an attack. I'm gonna Psycho Blast. How much do I take from Primal? <laughs> Cosmior encased. And he loses all his health. Okay. Now the question is, does he want to lose his Varinosaur or does he want to save it? I go to Icicle and that forces in Nova Deus. Yeah, I'm just going to Psycho Blast again. Okay, okay, they just sack off Varinosaur. Nice. And our Cosmure stays alive at a relatively healthy amount. It's not a lot of health, but it's enough to where I'm pretty sure that we can still beat the... What was I worried about? What was I worried about? I totally forgot already. Um, as Ika is in. Look at that model, man. Gorgeous. Okay, I feel like a Flash of Fleece coming out. I'm just gonna go into Venelin. And Flash of Fleece, fine. And if it's uh, more Fezu, we're a little spooked, to be honest. Energy Surge. You don't see Energy Surge very often on uh, Ikas. Every often, no. I'm gonna throw out a Poison. Because their Poison type died, so I get my Devious boost boosted poison which essentially means nothing can switch into my poison very well and right now our um terrify is not looking terrible nova deus now problem with this nova deus specifically is that we don't know what it is you know the problem with bringing terrify 
realistically is I can't set up safely and nothing is ever going to want to switch out against me, right? Draco Beam. We tank that every single day of the year, so we mudslide here into a rejuvenate and pray he's not a physical move. And then this poison will do enough to get him at least down to the, like where the just the start of the purple. Like right here is where I'm thinking. Raging Howl. It has raging? I totally forgot about that. Poison, I think, kills him this next turn. I'm just going to rest. We poison stalled the Nova Deus, which, hey, I didn't expect to do that today. Draco Beam comes out. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, right here, if he doesn't die to poison, then Terrafly was the play. Terrafly was the play. Tragedy. Tragedy struck. Does this outspeed Morfezu? I would assume so, right? But it's not like I can ever really do anything against Morfezu. I mean, this thing's dead no matter what, right? I go Cosmure just to get the little bit of health amulet health. You know? Does this have to be more Fezu? Fezu's like, what, 168, right? Uh, or is it 128? Is it 128? It doesn't not speed it. Okay. I don't think we gained any health. I think he flailed. Dragodine. See, this, has, this guy has so many air types on his team. I would need to tank this hit and then hypnotize for me to really, like, do something, right? But I'm a little too chipped for that. And if they have more Fezu, then I don't think it gets to do anything. Okay. We're gonna Luster Loot here. Hmm. Ika is in. This is just going to Fire Breath, right? Or Zip Zap. I kind of want to go Cosmior, honestly. Okay. Right now... Oh, it's not Boots. Okay, that's really good to know. Right now, we are in an incredible position to win this game. We Hypnotize into a Dissipate. And then... Oh, shoot. Hit Hypno, we win. Hit Hypnotize and we win the game, I think. Possibly. Okay. This does mean we get to drudge. Right? I'm gonna go for the just straight up switch. Okay, look. Oh. Do you have to have air types, man? Ah. Uh, travesties. Well, if he palms... I am not dead yet. Um, Cosmo is really the only thing I got here. He's just gonna get get the kill, so. I actually survived. I could have sacked Venelin. I mean, he. I'm fighting like Mono Air, and I have a freaking Terrorfly, right? Like, what am I expected to do? Um, Simon's fine. We can pretty much just... Do I want... No, barbing is completely pointless. I'll just deep freeze. I could be Ika anyway. It, 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 I've never had a Wobblis got speed of Morfezu. Right, that, 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 that shouldn't be normal. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. The potential is here right now. The potential is here. This means we drudge on the Ika and then Baneful Bash to kill and win the game. Because we definitely outspeed this, right? We definitely do, because for whatever reason they decided that having more Fezu get outsped is a good idea. Okay, so here we're going to just Baneful, get the kill. And then we drudge on the Ika to outspeed it, Baneful to get the kill. I don't think Baneful does enough, though. I don't think it does enough. But I really, really want to try to win with Terrafly. Baneful might do enough. Let's drudge. He shouldn't kill me in one hit. I outsped it. Okay. Okay, I don't... As long as I don't get paralyzed. Okay. Now, we Baneful Bash. Does it get the kill? Oh, shoot. Okay. 
Now, we drudge two times on Dragodine, because it has yet to even proc its um, first sleep turn. Yeah, it has, it has yet to even proc its second sleep. So we drudge one more time. And he will wake up on this next turn. Not here, though. He's still going to be asleep. Yep, and then we get to Parasitize. Very glad that I had the amount of moves in my mind. Alright, boom. And Dragodine goes down to the Terra Flies. We restore literally all of our health except seven of it. Interesting and interesting. I just hoping that I don't fight another mono air team when trying to use um Terrafly. Uh we're walled entirely by Harv. But Barbs this game are really good because their removal is Gust Stratosaur. Which if we're going off of the assumption that it is an offensive Stratosaur, we can assume Magnify, Metal Blast, Jet Stream, Energy Surge. It makes sense that it'd be offensive because this team looks like an offensive team. So I kinda wanna try to go with Wabba lead early. Um do this, this. Um the potential, I will just say the potential of me winning with Terra, Terra Fly is um, pretty low this game. But we'll try our best. My only real issue here is um, Stratosaur kind of just clicks buttons and I have to sit and watch. Kind of. That, that's kind of this game. So let's hope that I don't have to sit and watch. Is Leviatrust lead against Waba? Very, very, very good lead for me. Very good lead. He never gets to do anything to me, unless he provokes or hypnos. Wave Wrecker, that shouldn't do that much. Yeah, we vibing. So we get barbs up. Um, Alright, let's deep freeze just for damage in case he decides to switch. He goes for immediately for a Wave Wrecker. Okay, we both clicked a move instantly. I'm liking this guy so far. He clicks his moves quickly. I like people that play like that. It doesn't take forever. Though, uh, he's kind of lost um a lot of energy, so... Wait, why did he lose that much? Does he have no energy on his Leviatross? She, she's got n legit no energy on Leviatros. Do I sack Simon for all the barbs? Hmm. Or do I Driving Force start getting chip? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sack Simon for barbs. Does he, imagine he doesn't even get another wave wreck. Actually, wait. No, this thing has 205 speed. I was thinking maybe I could drudge. But I'm pretty sure Leviatros is 205. Leviatros. Leviatros, 200, and Nimble, it's 220. Yeah, I don't outspeed it with a plus one Terrafly, which is kind of crazy to me. And Wave Wrecker comes out again. Okay, um... Hmm. No, I, maybe I just go Gargolem and be super scary. Maybe I just go Gargolem to be scary. Gonna gnarly, just make sure you can't go for any weird switches. That will give me plus one. And this does put up pressure. Which is really good for me. This is good. This is good. I can do, I get a melee attack increase. I do have my clutch plushie up. So right now, I don't honestly know what his best switch is. Maybe it's Stratosaur into... As he predicts my rogue as he goes into hard. But at that point, I just gnarly gash. But he can't afford to do those doubles, right? Uh, this is Boots, most definitely. So, this is literally just, um, I lose my, um, I lose my clutch, but you know what? I'm fine with not, with losing, with keeping my clutch plushie. This is fine. I am completely content with keeping my clutch plushie up. If I can keep killing these things that are scary for Terrafly to, to, switch in against, then I am entirely up for this. All of this. You know, I am so down to kill their boots user. This is definitely their boots user. Alright, let's Earthquake. Yep, Flare. Because Land Torch needs this super strong move that is almost possible to switch into. Except if you have a Hollow Bunch. Which usually I bring. Alright. That's three kills on the board. What can we assume switches in? Zulung is what I assume switches in. That or Stratosaur. Stratosaur is not wood out speed though. Zulong. Okay, um... I can't outspeed very nimble. That's the problem. But I can outspeed normal nimble. 
And there's my dilemma there. You, you can see the dilemma, right? I mean, I win anyway with Venolin, right? I can stall long enough for Venolin to just poison Stratosaur and then spam Rejuvenate to kill it. Um, but yeah, my problem here is I can't really... Actually, wait, maybe. Okay, wait. Zulong, Cleaner. Let's give it Very Nimble. 202. I'm one speed stat below Very Nimble. I'm risking it. I live this any day of the year. Okay, looking at this damage. Okay, let's look at this. I took what? 114, I think. 114. Thunder Strike. Yeah, this is uh this is very nimble. If it's smart. Oh, one no, smart. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, no. This is very nimble. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. Drudge Terrafly! Go, buddy, go! Now, the real question is, do I want to risk Baneful Bash on the Stratosaur now, or do I just go for Rough Up? That's the real question. Um, I think he's going to Soul Burst, right? He's going to risk the Soul Burst. I'm going to Baneful. I think he's Soul Bursting. That, or I'm going to give him a Toxic Filter Boost, and then he gets a Soul Burst for free. But even then, I get to just Rough Up right after, and I, did I made the right play there. I do get the good, big, big Baneful Bash. Let's see how much damage you could potentially get here. Stratosaur, Jet Wing, Baneful, Bash, Terrafly. We're getting above 50. Sheesh! A crit has a 37% chance to KO if it has no investment on its melee side. Or any health investment, that is. But it's fine, we win anyway. We get a big Baneful Bash off against Stratosaur. And we get a Poison, so we win the game immediately. He goes for Magnify. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy boy. That, that ain't it. I'm gonna click Rough Up. <laughs> Let's click Rough Up. The old moves to hit Stratosaur. And a Terrify beat Stratosaur. What an update. Is it just me or is stuff moving faster in Lumine Legacy? I don't know what it is. Stuff feels like it's moving a bit quicker. Okay, the problem here is Mirath. Uh, the removal, they're gonna lead... Okay, they, they always lead Gargolem, I think. Uh, oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. What if I show off Lumi lead? Because uh, Lumi... Uh, I wanted to go Lumi lead. I want to do this. Maybe I go Venolin lead? And then I switch into the Cosmior, which then gets me to get Ice Gold Traps up? Or I just... No, maybe I just lead Cosmior just because it makes sense, right? Um, This makes sense. And then my problem here is 100% this freaking bug right there. I need to keep Waba incredibly healthy. Uh, I really, really like a Gargolem. I really want to bring Gargolem. It's really freaking good here. Um, another problem here is if my Waba... My Waba needs to check too many things, right? I don't think I bring Venolin. There's no, no real range thing I need to beat. And if I want to beat down the Gobademic, I'll have to do it a different way. You know, if the game crashes, that would suck. Because this is a pretty solid game. That could work out pretty well for me. If this is, plays out well. But it looks like it crashed. How do you open the... Oh, never mind. Garlash is in first against Gargolem. Not Gargolem. Cosmior. Uh, this is going to Mega Chomp immediately. I have to, like... I gotta instantly go into Simon, right? Like, I can't do that much. I need to instantly go into something that can counter Garlash. Now, see, this is my problem. I'm not going to be able to get enough damage on it. But if this thing reveals that it has, it can use another... If you use a Vicious Snap here, it just revealed to me that it's not Boots. Which means Gargolem Attack outspeeds it, so I'm never worried about it. But it feels like... That look definitely looks like it's Boots. It's Terror Descent is in. Oh, sick. I get to barb everything then. This is one of the things that I was... I need to be very careful against. But it's just... As long as I prevent it from dredging, we're fine. I don't get why people try to drudge with Teradescent, to be honest. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Why, why do people do this? I, I don't know why people do this. Why they try so hard makes no sense to me. Alright, but all of our barbs are up. Yeah, we barbed on the switch that Garlash did. We barbed twice here. Yeah, we just Driving Force here. 
Switch this guy out. And we literally took zero damage. Nice. I don't get why people try to do that with the Terra It makes no sense to me. As Akalos is in. Okay. We're gonna go into the Cosmere. Because Cosmere honestly pairs really, really well with this, um... With our... With our Terrafly here. Because then we can go for Hypnos into Dissipates. Right? Hypno Dissipate is definitely the play if we want to try to pop off. Oh, and we throw back Icicle Trap. Cosmior. I, I freaking love Cosmior, dude. Love this Lumion, dude. Where you get to such a freaking... I'm so glad I have Cosmior. It's such a fun, fun, fun Lumion. I love... Freaking love it. So happy. I don't know if a plus one um, would kill the Akalos in this range. How much would a plus one Baneful Bash do to an Akalos? Kalos. Well, if it has health investment, it's not killing, so. Does he switch? Or does he stay in and then do risky shenanigans? Okay, we get our dissipate switch so we can react to Mirath. Mirath is one of these things that we definitely need to beat before we can pop off with our Terrafly. So, we're gonna go immediately into Gargolem. And now Gargolem poses a threat to pretty much everything that he's shown so far. So this is really good. He can't really switch Garlash in here. Yeah, Earthquake is a really strong move here. And he actually just chooses to sack Mareth. Okay. As we get our Master Boost. Very, very nice. Mareth was an interesting sack there. I don't get it, but... Um... Florant. That just took 80% of its health. Oh, buddy, you brought Florant when I had Ice School Traps. That is sad. Alright, let's take it down. I'm gonna go through this whole animation just to die. What a tragedy. What an absolute tragedy. But so far, like, I haven't been able to use the Joltooth idea of, of this because, look, this thing is not very threatening to many things in the game. Or, like, dark types are a little bit, like, mildly inconvenienced by it. So, the real problem here is the fact that Terrafly, I don't know. It, it needs, um, it just needs to be a little bit stronger, I think. It's, it's kind of tough in the situation it's in, you know? I just don't, I don't think it's very strong, but I do think the Drudge is pretty cool. Very good buff for it. I think once it gets its stats buffed, I think it'll be much scarier. Because it'll be able to hit pretty much exactly how the old Joltooth could. And then maybe even one very brawny because its speed stat is already pretty good at that point. So, we know that this is Boots, right? We know this is Boots, and it's going to mess up my energy calcs, unfortunately. So, we're just going to go for the kill. As it's not Boots. Okay, well, that means, what? Mareth dead, Garlash is dead, Florant is dead. Akalos dies to Rogue. Um, you know, we're not... We're going to try not to win with Rogue Assault, because that wasn't really the goal here. I wanted to try to win with my Terrafly... And I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch Terrafly in. I mean, yes, I win legit on the spot if I just click Rogue Assault. I don't want to do that. I just got three kills with my Gargolem attack. I'm just going to play differently here. I'm going to try to get my Terrafly to win. I know it's sometimes cheap. I know that not a lot of people like when I do that, when I do this. But hey, it's so then I can see damage, you know? So we can all have an example of what this thing can do in correct in scenarios that are set up correctly but i don't think the resources put into terrafly are enough in my opinion i don't think that there's enough all right so we're gonna baneful bash here and if we don't kill then my point was proven that it, there's not enough that terrafly has is it enough yeah it's not enough now potentially i could live this hit there's potential. I, I don't have the worst melee defense stat. You know, maybe it's enough. <laughs> you know, my, my opinions are rapidly changing. So I get two parasitizes here, then a baneful. Imagine I was bug fever. Imagine. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I'm not master. Oops. As Terra Descent is in, and is Waba dead? Oh, my entire team is perfectly healthy. Oh, okay. 
I think Parasite should end the game anyway, right? Mm. Yeah, that's a problem, huh? <laughs> See, even with Icicle Traps and Barbs up, it still was not enough to kill a Teradescent. I get Teradescent is incredibly bulky, but still, I feel like it should probably get a little close to killing that. Yeah, I'm just saying. It should get a little close to killing it. I, I don't know if that's just me. Yes, I could have won the game immediately with Gargolem Attack, but it was not a Gargolem Attack video. That would already came out. But yeah, overall, this is, a, this is, of course, a buff for Terrafly, but it's definitely not enough to, like, justify me wanting to definitely use it, in my opinion. I, I, don't, I don't know. Drudge is really good on it, but 2.0 will definitely make these stats much better, boosting its speed up to what? 95, it's melee attack to 112, getting an actual energy stat, getting a slight melee defense increase. It The, the, the buffs will definitely help Terrafly, but right now it is definitely, I'd say, still pretty mid. I don't think it's all that, but who knows? Maybe you guys have differing opinions than I do. But hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and I will see everybody in the next one. Bye bye